sometimes to survive, we must become more than we were programmed to be. That's the cutest fucking thing I've ever seen in my entire life. So I just came from watching The Wild Robot, The Wild Robot that released on digital October 15th. This movie is from DreamWorks and the story is simple. The film follows Roz, R-O-Z, voiced by Lupita Nyong'o, Lupita Nyong'o from my country of Kenya, yay! Rose is a robot shipwrecked on an, on an uninhabited island and uh, Rose must learn to adapt to her surrounding, build relationships with the local wildlife and become the adoptive mother of an orphan goose. That is the basic premise of the film. This will be a non-spoiler review. If you've watched this film, this film really reminded me of so many other films I've watched. It reminded me of Over the Hedge. Um, if you've watched Over the Hedge, you probably know why I'm comparing it to Over the Hedge. Uh, it reminded me also of Migration. Migration, obviously, because there's geese in this film. It reminded me of Ice Age, because as I just talked about, you know, often taking care of a child. It reminded me of Open Season. Open Season has beavers. And if you've watched Open Season, you understand why beavers, you know. And also, it reminded me of Wall E. Yeah, because Wally, the protagonist, is a robot. And also this movie has... It will remind you a bit also of Puss in Boots 2. Because um, there's a fox character here who's orange, kind of like Puss in Boots. But also the animation style of the film is very good. I typically don't care about visuals. If you ever tell me your movie is good because of visuals, I'll just tell you to go away with that because me, I don't care about visuals. But in this film, this movie looks... Stunning. I typically don't care about visuals. The first time you meet Roz, the robot, she basically has a bunch of greetings in many languages. She says something like, Hello, bonjour, hujambo. Hujambo, which is from my dialect of Kiswahili, which I thought was pretty good. It's nice to see, you know, international content recognizing Swahili as a language. I'm saying this because on my main channel, Alpha of Radio with Eddie Grimm, this is a Degree Movie Reactions is my second channel, if for those of you who don't know. But on my main channel, Alpha of Radio with a Degree, I recently discovered Genshin Impact, which is an anime type game, and uh, they have a Swahili soundtrack. That's what I'm saying. It's nice to see uh, international stuff with Swahili in it. Uh, can I just mention when Roz the robot lands on the island, she gets bullied by these animals, which I found to be very surprising. The film is very engaging. Um, if, if I did not have to review this movie, I would have not paused anywhere because I was really glued to my screen. It's very well paced with a constantly evolving plot. What I mean is uh, the main character has an objective, meets some uh, challenges, completes that challenge and then gets a new objective. So it's this ever-changing plot that's never stale, it has no slow places. It's very well paced and you'll never be bored at any point. Uh, the themes of the film are about belonging and also finding yourself. I believe those are the two key themes of the film. There's great character writing in this film. There are no humans. Okay, there are humans, but there are no characters. The main None of the main characters are human beings. But this is one of the most human films I've ever watched. It has no human beings. It is one of the most human films I've ever watched. Around the one hour mark, I was like, <laughs> I was crying because there was something that happens there. Around the one hour mark, uh, I'm going to keep it non spoiler for those who haven't watched it because you should watch this film. On the one hour mark, I, I, I was moved. This movie is a roller coaster of emotions. You will be sad, happy, anxious. Very good writing, very good storytelling. And I'm surprised that it's from DreamWorks because DreamWorks are the ones who gave us the worst, one of the worst movies of this year, Mega Mind 2. 
So I feel like Wild Robot, all the money was moved towards Wild Robot and Mega Mind had to be sacrificed, you know. It's a film that everyone should watch and for my personal rating, I give this movie a 10 out of 10. Yeah, <laughs> I, have, I have never given a film a 10 out of 10. This movie is that good. It is that good. It's funny, from the trailer, I thought it was going to be some dumb kids film. <laughs> I thought it was going to be some damn kids film when I watched the trailer. Don't underestimate this film. This film is good. It's really good. It's like DreamWorks just decided to eh, stretch their fingers and just tell you, Pixar ain't shit. We are going to make a film at all. Yeah, I think uh, I, I think I saw on Wikipedia that the movie cost seventy million and it made one forty million. It deserves more. It deserves way more. This film is very good. If you've watched it, please comment below and tell me. What you thought about it i give it a 10. it ticked all the boxes in my opinion it did everything flawlessly flawless film can be watched by anyone my mom young you know younger nieces and nephews everyone will love it yeah so tell me i thought of this film uh I, i'm trying to do daily reviews so make sure to smash like and subscribe to join me for more reviews and then on this screen i'll leave other reviews i've done for films this year I did a reaction to Inside Out 2, and I think this film is even better than Inside Out 2. Yeah, just my opinion. It's much better than Inside Out 2. I would give Inside Out 2 something like, I don't know, like an 8 or a 7.5, but this one gets a 10. Yeah, I'll see you in the next one.